Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tremendous Thursdays. My name is Dante Azarmi, and today we have a superbly, superbly, very special session for you guys, which we're going to talk about a very, very, very important topic, but this time I'm not alone. This time we have none other than the person that puts the motive into positive motive into motivation, the VP for learning and development from IQI, all the way from IQI Philippines. Give a big, big number of awesome comments down there for none other than Ken Lizardo. Bring it up. <laughs> uh, What's up, good Ken? Good here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to be here. Thanks for having me, Dante. I'm very excited to have you on the show, my man. You have always been an incredible power of motivation for us all in, uh, you know, IQI. And I got to say, like, you know, you put the real good positivity in that culture. And that is why today we're going to talk about culture. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Awesome. Thank you again uh, to everyone who's watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys could share uh, this whole thing, because I believe that really culture is a big thing. And uh, actually, Dante and I were talking about it through uh, through chat. And uh, we're really excited. And I hope you guys could just we're text uh, buddies. share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are text buddies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the first and most important thing that everybody asks, because like I feel like, you know, a lot of people tend to think culture is something that you just leave the chance and then it happens, you know, but before we just jump into that one, can you tell us a little bit more about what culture actually is, what it means? Uh, okay. You know what? Uh, one, one thing about, one thing about culture is uh, it's one of those things that most organizations or companies uh, don't really put that much attention to. And uh, you'll notice a difference immediately uh, if you find a company and you don't know that much about them in a sense that it's it's pretty much a, they're the same uh, with everybody else. So company A, yeah, company exactly. B, company C, what's the difference? So it's more of that. Exactly. Uh, and and that, that is a side effect of what culture is or, or the lack of focus on culture. You know what I'm saying? Correct. And I, I really believe that organizational culture, is, you know what? Let, 
let me let me share a story to you. Uh, awesome. And, and, and to it's a Ken moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, to to those who to to the people who are watching from from IQI Philippines, they've they've heard this a thousand times. They they're with me almost every day. They hear my voice. They're probably yeah. sick of it. But uh, to those of you who are not yet sick of it, I think this is a story that you might want to hear. Right. Uh, last year, I was actually shopping for for a car and i narrowed down to i narrowed it down to just one choice and i went to that car dealership and um i asked for a test drive to for this specific yeah. car and i got the test drive and the one thing about me is that when i do something like this i already know what i want i know why i want it every <laughs> single detail about that car i already know but of course since you have the agent the sales the car sales agent uh with you in the car as you test drive you want to validate what you already know right that's what i do i validate exactly. it i ask questions and so i asked him a question about the four-wheel drive so i which i you already knew the answer it wasn't a four-wheel <laughs> drive it was a two-wheel drive so i so i asked is this a four-wheel drive and he's like mm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Four wheel drive. Well, <laughs> I'm like, okay. I continue to drive. Right off the bat. Uh -oh. well, there, there, there's a problem. There was a problem with uh, with the acceleration where it, when I, once I press on the acceleration pedal, it'll okay. take half a second before it actually moves fast forward. Right. Okay. So oh I asked God. about that, and he couldn't answer the damn thing, and 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 he 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 was like, he I I had to. I had to tell him what the answer was. Oh, sorry. So, so what, what's the point? The point is, there's this certain culture in that company that prevented me from saying yes to this car that I already wanted. Exactly. So, what did he I do? Said what he taught, like you wanted to hear. You know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. So, th there's this the lack of excellence. The lack of excellence yeah. in the service ended up making me not buy that car and i went to Super a important. different dealership not just sorry not just different dealership a different brand i, I went <laughs> i chose a different brand over this oh, one. Wow. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was that bad it was that bad and i think also when when it comes to when it comes to come to organizational culture it is what you would say i believe is a reflection of the leadership and and everyone down, uh, going down. So have you mm -hmm. heard of, I'm sure, you, may, you probably, I'm sure you've heard of the term uh, as above, so below, correct? Yes, so, of course. Yes, so as exactly. above, so below. Whatever the culture, the, per, the, the culture that these people on top have okay. embodied uh, for their own lives, that's also the same thing that, they, that they're going to be uh, projecting downwards to their people. And the people are going to project the same thing to their customers. So I think culture is a huge thing. Uh, and it's, to, sorry, to define it, rather, culture is the nameplate and the description, therefore, of what a company really is. When they talk to, for example, if I talk to someone like you, Dante, I'm like, hmm, this guy sounds like IQI. Culture. All right, yeah, exactly. That right? makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. In, in the same manner, ooh, this person speaks like he works at McDonald's. This person speaks like he works in a fast food chain that I don't really go to because yeah, they have the identity. So identity, That's culture true. and identity, intrinsic. It's not just the shirt that you put on with the tag on it. It's how you represent what you're representing, you know, the yes. main culture of everything. And it's it's funny sometimes like because people think, you know, uh, there's processes like, you know, leadership and things like that, you know, that are super important, which we're going to get into that later when, uh, you know, which, uh, you know, it's like important roles that you have to design. So it's a lot of different elements that you know live together in an ecosystem basically so mm -hmm. like you know we need to like really tap into every single one of them and make sure that all of these are injected into like one single awesome culture that everyone derives from and like everyone learns to be that in that company like you said as it is above you know then so we need to fix the above before you know anything goes down <laughs> you know? yeah exactly. so exactly and like what i wanted to ask you as well is that because you know, there's a lot of elements and there's a lot of elements that you know are positively affecting people and their culture it's like because we were going to try to like base it on a individual factor or you know of what the what the job is or what the company produces for like you know the uh you know person employee to use so what are these positive elements that you can tell us about that really affect how this person or employee represents the culture in a better way or increases their productivity 
Mm, you, you know what? what? One of the things that I, as as a speaker and as a trainer, one of the things that I focus on are two things. It's it's um, leadership and communication. But 100%. if you tell me what's more important, it's communication, because leadership is ineffective if there is no proper communication. One of the things Correct. that I put into my LinkedIn uh, headline is that correct communication leads to true transformation so it's cct nice. correct communication leads to true transformation uh, you can have the best what do you call this intentions in the world if you can't communicate it properly which is pretty much i, I feel like that's what's happening to a lot of politicians in several parts it of the is. world they have many of them have great intention <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're terrible at communicating. It's yeah, basically like, you know, mm. <laughs> yeah, really. And also, yeah. it also reflects uh, the listeners, even because listening is part of communication, right? So going 100%. back going back to, to the elements, um, let, let's, let's, let's put it this way. Let's, let's have a, a view, an overview of what I feel um, communicate, uh, culture is when it comes to this question. Culture Correct. is not just a set of systems. Some people think that the culture of a certain company is because we we do this, 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 <laughs> this, this, and that. We I wake agree. up like this, and then we dress like this, and we talk like this with a lower voice and with very <laughs> friendly and, and all whatever, yeah. right? So if, if for be formal or not be formal. That, that's what people think. What culture is? It, they, it's like. We can't it's the aesthetics, you know. Not yes, yes, yes. We, 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 the, most people tend to connect culture to the external instead of exactly. insert something that's more uh, important uh, and quintessential. So, what I would say is that culture is not just systems. In fact, it is the identity, which is pretty much what I said earlier. It's the identity of the leaders who are creating the system. So, think about that exactly. for, for one second. Uh, it's not the system. Not just it's the system. The soul. It's, it's literally the soul, the soul. <laughs> who creates the system. So the system comes secondary, below, below the uh, below the below the creation, be below the soul, exactly. right? And we we see this come into play when it comes to franchises, right? So yes. I, I mentioned about McDonald's and stuff like that. But can we honestly say that all McDonald's branches are the same? Not at all. Or I mean, all look at franchisees <laughs> are the same. It's different, right? So yeah, exactly. whoever it is that's handling that specific branch will have their own specific culture, regardless of what brand you put on or what uniform you put on. Put on. So one of uh, one of the elements is to really have clarity above, 100%. so that you can tr you you can effectively communicate it downwards to the people. Exactly. So if you are listening right now, guys, Ken is really telling us some really awesome stuff. And basically put in the comment section, culture is the soul, right? That is the most important part. Like, you know, because a lot of the times we don't realize that it, the culture that we do have is basically the, uh, the heart and soul of everything that the companies, you know, the top people in the company that actually stand for. And that is translated into what we are now. That's why, like, you know, in IKI, we're always like, you know, enjoy life, play hard. That's awesome. And like, you know, we always have this positivity going on because it is coming down from, and we basically like, you know, we feel that. We feel how uh, excited our, you know, uh, the team is and it actually like translates into it. And uh, Ken, I wanted to also say basically like, because it is a, a spiritual play purpose and potential also have like an ideal uh, factor here because i think like uh if you, we allow people to experiment to a certain degree but we do tell them like you know what they're supposed to be experimenting on you know uh for example like if you're, you're working in starbucks you know then you're suddenly like you know allowed to kind of have a conversation with your uh customer try to get a feel out of it like you know hey what's up how's it going how's your day like you know just experiment with your communication way it helps you like you know give your job a little bit more of you know pizzazz you know and then also like how you talk about purpose because if i know what is coming out of what i'm doing is actually beneficial or like i feel that i like what is coming out you know then i realize okay i'm actually feeling value here which is really important and also potential you know it helps me boost my potential like you said like you yourself are boosting a uh, potential of a lot of people and that's why like you know that's important for our culture because that's what we're doing here 
You you bring up a good boi- point, Dante, and and actually this is this is one of those uh, things that that good culture actually cultivates. It's it's potential, exactly. as you mentioned. Potential has to be cultivated. <laughs> potential is not the end. It, it's not it's not the final product. This thing keeps sliding exactly. down my head. That's right. <laughs> 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 right. That's potential. It's like saying potential is is just potential. It's not the the final product. Uh, hi, Yusef. Thanks for being here. Hello, uh, Nurmimi. Uh, thanks for oh, let's put you guys up. <laughs> hello, yeah. culture is the soul. <laughs> and hello to Yusuf as well. How are you doing? From all the way from Toronto. <laughs> Glad you're awake, Yusuf. Uh, on our timeline. <laughs> okay, so thank you for about, staying awake. <laughs> let's talk about uh, uh, potential, right? Um, proper culture would allow people to grow at their pace because we all know we all know that people are not equal. Nobody's equal. That's true. The, the 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 current state of a person now is like probably years uh, ahead or years done for other people. And um, uh, he, here's here's an analogy for you. Um, one thing that okay, this is my personal opinion. <laughs> to those of you who don't agree, oh. then don't <laughs> then don't I like agree. I honestly don't care. <laughs> don't fire on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is me. Um, one thing that I do not like about the educational system uh, that we have now is that there's only there's one system, and you put yeah. the the this person in the same room as the one with less of this, right? And this is, and I'm not belittling anybody. Like I said, it's just natural for people to not be at the same level. I mean, my goodness, put me in the same room as Elon Musk. I'm gonna, <laughs> what, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna say, oh my, man, I'm stupid. Exactly, it's the same thing. I don't have to feel bad about myself. It's just that he's just way up there. It is the same thing. Now, now, uh, picture it. Picture it this way. Imagine if you put everyone in a box. I mean, it it defeats the purpose to hiring the best people if you just tell them exactly what to do, okay. right? It doesn't make sense. Proper culture, knowing knowing how to to see potential, will will it it, it won't happen that way. If you the reason why you hire people who are great is because they are great, not because of just you. So exactly. why corral them into a certain system? Because remember this, uh, this, is, this is a quotable quote, right? Nothing stifles intelligence more than restrictions. Again, nothing true. stifles intelligence more than restrictions. I'm managing, I just, I can't deal with that. It's like, oh, do it, do it, do it. I, come on, like, you know, give some way. <laughs> if you're going to do that, hire someone who doesn't think for himself. You're, you're going to be better off. Uh, yeah, just I, read, I, read, <laughs> I read a quote, uh, I read something that uh, Warren Buffett said. He said, if you're going to hire a, sm- uh, a smart person, make sure, ah, man, I'm going to ruin the quote. But he, had some, he, he said something <laughs> like, no, but he said something like this. If, if you're going to micromanage, hire a dumb person. That makes sense. Never hire an intelligent person if you're going to micromanage uh, along those lines. So there's uh, going to be a clash, you know, like, you know, that person's exactly. going to be thinking from the self, like, hmm, that doesn't really make sense from my point of view. And that's not your forte. So why am I here? And like, you know, doing it just doesn't make sense in that. Aspect. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I, I completely agree with what you said about potential and giving the liberty, giving people the liberty to be able to explore. That's one of the things that we do here in the Philippines. We, we mm-hmm. look at you. We see you. We mentor you. We coach you. But we're not going to say this, 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 and exactly. this, 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 this. Uh, we give you liberty. But, of course, at the same time, foundation has to be there. Uh, one of the questions that, sorry, I keep talking, Dante. I hope you don't mind, right? But <laughs> one of the questions that... Uh, um, what do you call this? One of the questions that one of the agents uh, that I asked some of the agents is that, um, how do you think it's overwhelming? All the learnings that we that IQI gives is overwhelming. Some some of them say yes, uh, and I'm I'm like, okay, uh, then I'll I'll I'm I'm gonna ask you to please revalidate with this thought. Have we actually thought of? how much we've worked on or how much effort we put on learning the initial learnings before the next learning comes. 
because sometimes we get left behind by the learning and we get overwhelmed because maybe we didn't go 100% on the learning today. One culture, uh, one good uh, characteristic of culture is the act, act now, act now. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that my dad always says is ready, fire, aim. <laughs> ready, <laughs> fire, aim. Don't, don't, not ready, fire, fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, ready, fire, aim. Why? Because he knows that one of his weaknesses is analysis paralysis. So he'd rather move forward before and, and just adjust as you go. That's, that's amazing. I love that code. So guys, ready, fire, aim, put that right under the, you know, comment section. That's a good one. You know, I mean, try to at least put it in the same, the, the right direction. But I can't really say. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Right? Oh my God. That's pretty good. I love it. And, um, Ken, like the most important part that we, uh, well, we kind of like talked about it so far, but it's important to realize that culture actually increases productivity. Because I've seen like, you know, well, total motivation is basically the how we measure culture in terms of how much motivation it provides to the like, you know, uh, employees or staff or the teams, you know, that are involved. You know, so I realized that the difference between a high tomo or high total motivation culture for a salesperson as compared to a low motivation and total motivation culture for a salesperson it's up to 30 percent of the revenue that's insane that's a lot uh that's a lot <laughs> well uh, so maybe you're asking it's like what are the direct effect in terms of productivity and quality um cu culture Culture is seeing what's happening and going for it. I, I think you, you see what's happening in the company. Like, for example, IQI Global. Exactly. Many times we feel <laughs> like, ah, oh, we're getting left behind. But the <laughs> we got to move forward. That's what culture, uh, that, that, that's what sometimes, that's what productivity, uh, that's the effect on productivity, right? When you see what's happening and you're not one with what's happening, it should yeah. thrust, thrust you forward. Right, yeah. and every time I see the sales report, I'm like, oh, let's go! Oh, I got to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> so it really it, puts you into that mode, you know, like you know, okay, like you see the report, and the culture is basically it's not a competition, but it's no. like you just want to stand shoulder to shoulder with everybody else. So when exactly. you see that. Like, you know, sales report, you're like, ah, no, I am like, you know, all the way back down the mountain. I need to run the hell up, you know? So yes. you get everyone in the back, like the team, like, guys, get your guns up. Like, let's freaking go forward, you know? And that's where the true meaning of warrior comes out. You know, you yeah. just like in a lot of like, you know, uh, different old school, like, you know, times when like basically like in the armies and stuff, let's talk about like basically Vikings or berserkers. Their job was to be berserkers, to just to amp up everybody to go forward. And that's what we do here. Like, you know, we, we create that warrior spirit, you know, and just like make sure that people are like, I'm not going to stay back. I've got my pride. I'm going to stand shoulder to shoulder with everybody else. And I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And and it, it is I think you do a really good job in terms of like you know doing that. You're awesome, like you know in terms of like the warrior berserking stuff. Like because you know, I've seen you talk to a lot of your team members and like you know previous uh, chats that we had. And it's amazing. I love it. I love awesome. it. Thank you. <laughs> You're most welcome. So uh, you know besides like you know giving each other compliments, I want to jump into talking something about something else as well. So. A lot of people think that leadership is super important, and it is. It really is, you know. But uh, you know, they also need to understand, like you know, that eco, the, the culture actually has an ecosystem. So, what other things that can we talk about that are important in terms of the processes that can you know make this culture? Like, for example, organizational identity. What other stuff that we can talk about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, before we, I mean, definitely we'll, we'll, we'll go to enumerating those things, <clears throat> but one of the, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, but one of the no. things that we want to, we want to, you know, put into perspective is the fact that we, we need to find out what, what is important, right? What is more important? Is it, are, are superstar leaders more important or is it a superstar company that's more important? Right. One of the things that uh, something that uh, uh, a pastor friend of mine said uh, while he was preaching on stage, he was saying in our church, we don't want we don't need superstar pastors because yeah. that's not what it, that's not what's important. 
it, what's important is the church. So in the same manner, in, in, in terms of company, what is more important? Is it the lead, the superstar leaders or a superstar company? I really believe that superstar leaders should be a side effect of all the other components that come together in terms of leadership exactly. inside a company. So one of the things, um, so let's talk about them. Uh, first, uh, you mentioned, you mentioned um, organizational identity. Um, one thing that I really love about IQI is that I can really just be proud and just say ah, IQI. Why? Because yeah. to be associated, to be associated with just such an amazing company would be to elevate myself, right? It, it elevates me to be part of this company. And also at the same time, it makes me become more critical, personal, personally critical of my role. So how do we, how do I find out what my role is? Role design. It's important to design exactly what your role is. Like for example, you Dante, you are, you are the life coach. You are the, mo the, 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 the one of the motivators. You are the host. Everyone knows your role and people aren't going to step on that role because that's your role. And that's Thank because <laughs> it is what you're welcome <laughs> to step on at any time. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 you mentioned earlier. Uh, we I was asking about. Oh, so I, I guess I'm the first guest for for tremendous Thursdays. You mentioned that, right? And, yes, uh, you are. <laughs> and, and 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 you were saying that. How, and I will ask you, how did it come to be? And, and you told me that because hmm, she said hmm, you need the segment and this one. And again, that is role design. That's a specific aspect of role. Design. Because I know what I'm supposed to do. You know, it's given to me clearly. It's given to me and like, you know, and I understand it. And I and also know why. Because it's exactly. not just the play that's been given to me. Like, you know, like we, we talked about, like, you know, play, purpose, and uh, potential. This part, for example, in my section, like, it would be like, okay, you are given a day of the week to be able to express yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And to be able to add value to people. At the same time, you are given a you know purpose, which is giving value to people, giving the motivation that they need. And we I do love that, you know, and at the same time, potential. It, it, I've been told that this will increase my potential in so on and so forth. So it is a complete total motivation booster in that aspect. Exactly. And um, again, it, it, it's the only way for the role design to be actually to actually be implement, implemented is proper communication, pretty much like you said, because you wouldn't know how, why and what to do if there's no exactly. proper communication. So we've talked exactly. about two things already when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, what other processes when it comes to uh, company culture. So we've, we've talked about organizational identity. We've talked about role design. Then the next thing that comes to mind is career ladders or your direction in the company. How do you move forward? Knowing I there's no up. glass ceiling there. <laughs> you know? Exactly. I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, I look at other uh, real estate firms and I'm seeing, oh, there's only two or three positions to look forward to above where I currently am right now. Uh, I don't know about you, but I, I like seeing the, the daunting uh, potential in terms of yeah. position. I'm like, I want to be that, right? I, I want to exactly. get there. Right. And, and I really it's believe that, booster. exactly. So it's a pro proper culture will give career ladders and the opportunity for people to grow into a specific role, to be ready for a role and then move forward after. Aside from that, you need community because you can't just have a system in place. You can't just have a manual uh, or, or a, a list of how to do. You need people to help you out. You need people who are doing the same thing, accountability partners, if you will, uh, and mentors. If you have two, those two things, accountabilities, uh, accountability partners and mentors, then you're in good shape, right? And that's, yeah. that's what community uh, does in, in, in a company, in company culture. And um, that's what we have, actually. <laughs> that's exactly what we have. Uh, aside yeah. from that, to be able to fuel that, you need uh, workforce and resource planning. Uh, because exactly. you can't just have a vision. You need to have specific steps. And those specific exactly. steps need people to execute. <laughs> right? You can't just, oh, I Perfect. want this. Ooh, because what, what happens is you end up doing everything. You can't do it, right? If you're, if you're, a, if you're an agent who wants to have a team, uh, who probably uh, are starting a team, we need to remember that people drive uh, 
companies or, or productivity forward, not just vision. Vision is, is the roadmap. You need someone to actually run through the trail in that roadmap, right? And there's- You need someone to hold that. the torch and show you the way. Exactly. And you, aside from that, you need someone to follow that torch that they see and move forward. Exactly. exactly. So there's so many roles, so many roles to be able to fill. Uh, exactly. We actually have a lot more. Uh, do, do, yeah. Should, yeah, uh, you want me well, to continue? <laughs> no, don't worry. Well, I think like those are the most important ones. And I think because like the ones that you did mention in terms of like how they swing between like, you know, the different points that because like I want everybody to know that culture is not something magical, right? It is engineering. So every single thing that Ken did mention uh, at this point, for example, role, design, you know, col uh, you know, I cultural identity and everything that they did mention is actually given a point system. And for example, role design is one of the highest with like 87 swings, which gives you either a minus 40 uh, total motivation or 50 plus motivation. And here's the funny part. The difference between companies, right? The top number one company and the one that comes second to it, like for example, Google and then everything else down there, the difference between their culture is only 15 points. Only 15 wow. points. It's crazy, you know? <laughs> And I wanted to also say, like, you know, uh, Ken, like, I, I, I don't know if you would agree with me on this one. Um, basically, I think the way we think about it, there's also there's negative elements in there as well. So uh, if you're just going with emotional pressure, for example, I have to do this or, or like, you know, I am given this role because I am given a certain amount of like, you know, responsibility, you know, in my own life or economic pressure because like I'm just doing this for the, you know, cash or like, you know, inertia when you don't even know why you're there, <laughs> you know, these things can really affect. And I think there was a really cool like uh, experiment that they did for poets. So what they did was that uh, they gave the poets a topic. They say like, you can, you can do a poetry on laugh or laughter, right? So they told the first few, uh, you know, uh, basically to like, you know, enjoy themselves, uh, you utilizing the element of play, play with the words, do all these things, you know, like show us how like, you know, awesome you, you can write and like your writing skills. The other one was basically like, you know, get, we want to, uh, you know, the next group, the group B, they were given the same objective, but with a different style of, uh, you know, giving them, you know, that purpose. It was basically economical pressure. So, oh, uh, if you do really well, you're going to be able to like, you know, do a basically like, you know, make your teacher proud or like, you know, get a competition money or something like that. And they realized the creativity that was given in the uh, ones that had the purpose was actually so much more, you know, and without even, I mean, it's, it's a given because you're doing it for a different, per you're doing it for you. You want to mm -hmm. show off your skills, not doing it for the sake of something else. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I completely, uh, I completely agree with that, and I, I definitely, oh, that, it's it, that's similar to what I read to to what I to what I know uh, of a, a certain study called the candle problem. Have you heard of the candle problem? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, yep. <laughs> that's yeah, a good that's one. So, so, <laughs> so, so the candle problem uh, was the one who created this test was uh, a psychology professor uh, named Sam Glucksberg. Right, so it was originally meant as a simple cognitive performance test, uh, and what he did was he took this test and used it to examine how performance is affected by incentives, and the the, the participants were either offered no prize or with, which had low drive or money based on their performance, which is high drive. But there were some other things that he he he, he changed as they continued to develop. They 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 basically were. Uh, given the task twice, but with a few stipulations. So the one who did it uh, faster was the ones with uh, motivation. But the others, uh, there were. There's also this uh, component where creativity is really important, also because you don't, you can't just look at things black and white. You exactly. know, that's so true. You, yeah. You just you have to be able to be given the opportunity or the green signal to to spread your wings and fly and find your own way. Exactly. I totally agree with that. Like, you know, if we have room to grow, you know, we definitely are going to like, you know, I so here's a little backstory about me. I create habitats for animals as well on my side thing, you know, so yes, I, know. I realized. <laughs> oh, you know about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so <laughs> I realized that they thrive better. You know, and these are just animals. These are creatures. Like, you know, they thrive better with a larger environment, an environment that actually actively processes what they're thinking and actually gives them exercise in terms of mind exercise, even to the point of the smallest animal with the smallest brain. So imagine what it can do, because in the end of the day, we are cre uh, creatures with the, you know, ability of choice, you know, so that even increases the level of how we think. So if we, given our, we are given that environment to actually thrive in, wow. We're gonna do really well. <laughs> you know? yeah. So uh, exactly, and so like it brings us to the point. We did say leadership was important, but it's not not as important in the total motivation. But here is another question: What can leaders do for them to be able to? If there's a uh, not such a good culture, how can they improve on it, and how can they retain a culture that is really good? Um, clarity. Yeah. Clarity. <laughs> uh, right on the spot. <laughs> if, <laughs> if there is more than one leader, each leader have uh, has to they they have to come together and they have to talk about what is it that we're trying to do, right? Yeah. First of all, what what is the result that we want? What's the result? Is it just a number, or is it a feeling? Is it a vision? What is it? Then be clear with that be very specific uh yeah. we, i talk a lot about get being glued uh get gluing your sights on your north star now imagine if the north star is just a it's it's not it doesn't look like a north star it's just like a speck of yeah. dust that you can barely like, see that you can't even <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't even describe it then that's not uh, that, that there's no clarity in that right so that makes sense. have to come together mm -hmm. to be clear when it comes to what the direction is. And once that's done, be very specific. And I, I like reverse engineering. I like backtracking from the result instead of starting, uh, sorry, hit my phone, my mic. No. <laughs> instead, of, instead, instead of starting step one, I would take step finished. I'll look at step finished and work my way backwards, work my way back. Like what's going on? How we're doing this, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how do you do it? So this is the final stage. How? What is the level right below final stage? OK, how do we get to the stage? OK, backtrack again, backtrack again until you find yourself in the beginning stages of where your people are, because that's exactly. the only way to go. Um, a lot of people and also we have the leaders have to understand that their people are not them and 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 that they are not their people exactly. because some people think that uh, some leaders are like like hundred <laughs> oh, seventh gear, and then they're drive they're they're riding uh, an F one. Everyone else is riding a secondhand <laughs> walk <donkey>. wagon. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse? Yeah. Right? So like, there's you know, just clarity. Like, right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like this clarity on your direction, clarity on your materials or your or the people involved. Right. Yeah. And clarity as to how to utilize these materials and people involved. It's really about clarity. And once that's clear, they'll, they'll come into a certain um, uh, chemistry, if you will, which will then form into culture once everyone. Uh, sorry, before that, you need to be once you've been clear, you're clear with that, you need to communicate it to everyone in the organization. Again, That's communication. Great. It has to be. Don't leave anybody out. <laughs> exactly, because some of sometimes I I, I have the same problem with with some 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 partners of mine. We we think that this is the problem without having to find out exactly what the problem is down there, right? and yeah, we exactly. assume this problem. We try to you know you make all of these you create all of these solutions. Apparently, it's not the problem because it's something specifically different. So communication is really important. Clarity and communication, blueprint, basically. Yes. You're not going to be able to make the blueprint unless you have like every single dot. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, if you're missing half of the puzzle, you're not going to know which part of the puzzle you lost, you know, <laughs> so that which part of like which puzzle is, you know, not there. Once you have everything settled down, then you're going to be able to put that one in or find another version or like do something about it, you know? Yes, so exactly. That's super true. I totally agree with the reverse engineering because I think like, you know, a lot of people tend to lose uh, touch with the fact that 
it's not just the here. It's not in this level only. It's everywhere. It's the top. It's the bottom. There's a hierarchy. There's like not in terms of like you know power, but like you know just in terms of where we are and where we're going. You know, there's the, this different processes that we need to actually like check out and make sure everything is doing well. Well. Exactly. Wow, we are on 40 mark, you know, see what I'm mean? like, you know, before we start, I tell Ken, like, you know, we're going to pass up because we have the chemistry thing going on. So, you know, we're probably going to pass, uh, you know, minute 40, but it has been really awesome with you, uh, you know, Ken, like, you know, I really love, uh, you know, the way you talk, talk about culture and things like that. And I think one of the most important things that we need to touch on, which we could touch on in the next session as well, is the uh, people's comfort zone, because mm -hmm. Certain cultures are out there, but they don't really activate uh, people to like actually, you know, grab a sledgehammer, come out and boom, break that comfort zone and come out like a champion, you know, <laughs> so not, easy. not easy at all, you know, and the thing is like, uh, and I love it here because like it's, um, I've, I've had that bubble around me before when I like, you know, joined in and I was like, I was in the corporate world before and I came in like, you know, years back and then I, I, they just like, you know, ripped that, you know, bubble open and they were like all right let's take you out <laughs> you know? and i have been barely growing ever since so i think that from uh, moving on from culture i think we need to show leaders and also like you know the people themselves how they can do practices and how they can actually like you know get out of that so if you're game we're gonna do it next week <laughs> sure, sure. absolutely <laughs> sorry for putting you on the spot <laughs> no 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 worries <laughs> no worries uh we're right, in we the philippines we're session. on we're on tight we're on tight lockdown in the philippines so i'm very very flexible i'm not going anywhere <laughs> stay yeah, right here in this room good to know you're flexible <laughs> ladies <laughs> <laughs> all righty thank you so much ken thank you so much i just want to like tell you guys again ken lizardo vp of learning and development at iqi and you know right all the way from philippines Philippines. Ken, thank you so much for all the insight. You're awesome. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, to those of you who are watching, if you guys can, uh, if you guys have LinkedIn, please do connect with me. Uh, just search for Ken Lizardo. It's right my, right, my name right here. Just search for it. And uh, if you see a photo with a gray blazer doing this while speaking with a... <laughs> Yeah, I, that was that was shot when I spoke in Malaysia as well. So please, please do yeah, uh, connect that. with me. I'd love, I love to hear from you. I love to share stories with you when we're there and learn about you more. Wonderful, wonderful. So guys, please do that. Make sure you uh, connect with Ken. He is amazing, and he's got a lot of awesome uh, content. And of course, and thank you, Vinny, for joining us in the session. <laughs> I really <laughs> <laughs> our happiness ambassador ladies and gentlemen you know and of course thank you all thank you very much for joining us on this incredible session about the you know just culture in general and the company culture and i hope you guys have learned a lot about it and don't worry about it we're going to definitely be coming on next week to tell you guys how you can break the bubble around you and how you can like you know be the leader that helps break that bubble all right thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i will see you all next week and from me and ken to you guys signing off
向前看，早已得大方，见隔壁荒唐，陪你哭，陪你笑，陪你闯荡。就算你不拼命去抵抗，我们一定有战略上，不要。会受伤，最感激，一辈子都平凡。迎着风霜，必须勇敢，和心中的梦想，拼命击败，用尽力量，肩并肩，大肩长，一生。站越强、嗯，不要害怕所谓的困难，心愿会受伤，谁甘心一辈子都平凡？就算你不拼命去抵抗，我们一定越站越强。